With 250 acres of desolate land in hand, the Hiranandani brothers were desperately in need of a plan to turn it into the satellite township they hoped for. The task of masterminding this transformation went to architect Hafiz Contractor. The old style of Mumbai, which you know, all this area is the Gothic style. We did Gothic style, then we said, no, 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 it looks a little bit quite old fashioned. Then we did some uh, art deco, then we did, you know, uh, postmodernist. Then finally, one fine day, huh, I was sitting with Surendra and uh, we said, hey, why don't we do a classical style? Expanding on Mumbai's architectural heritage, the Hiranandanis went in for neoclassical style architecture. The neoclassical style of architecture started in the mid 1800s and has influenced many buildings in Mumbai. The characteristic columns and geometric patterns are a modern adaptation of classical Greek architecture. But the Hiranandani has decided to adapt it for a vertical housing project. We realize that we need to create some style of architecture which be belongs to this place, which makes it, you know, gratifying to the residents and yet has some harmony to it. This style was in those days also quite popular in the West. It was considered neoclassical. But nobody had really done it for high rise. The same columns that can be seen in the ancient Greek temples can be seen in Hiranandani gardens, all following strict architectural rules. The height of every column in the township is exactly eight times its diameter. And each column is perfectly cylindrical two thirds of the way and then tapers up to the top. This design not only provides strength and stability to the structure, but also gives Hiranandani Gardens its unique style. The colonnades on the top of the residential complex are an ingenious way to mask the eyesore of utilities that usually adorn high-rise buildings. 